So today I'm going to be going over the enchantment system in Arcane Odyssey, including how to obtain enchanted items, which state the system is in now, and how to specifically enchant items of your choice. First thing we can take away from this footage off of Soliel's new video, Weapons and Ship Parts Showcase, is the NPC she's talking to, which is Alex the Alchemist. And if you go further into her interaction with the Alchemist, she's able to pay him to enchant her weapons, or should I say items. Now this was a feature in World of Magic, but as the next thing I want to point out is the variety of things she can actually enchant. As seen in the list, we can point out a whole bunch of things that can be enchanted, from all the armors, rings, to accessories accessories, but more differently, the sail cloth that's already been enchanted. Now this mainly caught my eye because of how unusual of an item it is to actually be enchanted, not only because it's nothing like we've seen in World of Magic, but because of how it's a part of the ship and not just your own character. With this, it's clear that Vedex is definitely going for variety, to give players a new sense of customization, and just to try and keep every interaction between players and NPCs different, by even little things like this. And with this info, it would be possible and quite cool to see enchanted guns and cannons as these are all also new features. And it's definitely a topic I want to touch on in a later video because the guns and cannons mechanics looks very great and it's something I'm looking forward to. But enchants on their own and what they bring to the table isn't too complex in of themselves and actually a lot of them come from World of Magic, but it's a variety of items that you can apply them to that makes it different from enchanting in the other games. Using ships as an example, by showing us you can enchant specific parts of the ship to divert everyone's ship from one another, which I think is great, instead of reworking the whole system or messing around with the enchant's purposes. The alchemist can also disenchant items for you at a much higher price, which does allow you to re-enchant it, I assume, if you don't get what you want, but doing so could possibly hurt your weapon's durability, or would definitely probably have some downside on your weapon. But I did want to point that out, as it seems to be a new feature in the game as well. What do you guys think about the enchantment system? Are you glad it's saw some similar features to World of Magic, or were you looking for something different? I just wanted to make a little video on this as I realized how Vedex was able to keep it simple while at the same time giving the system more depth. And I definitely don't doubt that there are more enchants added or there are going to be added in the game sometime in the future. And I definitely can't wait to see the outcome. Let me know what you guys want to see me cover in the next video. And if you want to reach out to me for any ideas or anything, join my Discord and leave a message in there or you can shoot me a DM. But as always, if you did enjoy, I wouldn't mind a like or even a sub. You don't have to, but I appreciate it greatly. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.